What's up, my friend and love, sisters, friend and D, coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. How you doing? How you doing? I'm, uh, I'm struggling in this closet trying to get uh, to get on here with you and, sell, and hang out for lunch. Look, look <laughs> at all those bags in the background. I can't take okay. it. Wait a second, Jasmine. I can't. Hold on. Bear, okay. bear with me, because usually I'm in the living room, but you know the boys are doing okay. homeschool. So we're setting up in my You're closet. Such a mom. I, no, can you believe that? Like, I can't believe it's I'm, so I'm weird. such a Monty. I'm like a full Monty. If I, before we hang up, I'm going to go downstairs. They're down there with the teacher aide. One is on this end of the bar. The other one's on the other end. I'm like, this is really Marlo's life, right? <laughs> um, Moving on, this uh, season thus far concerning you, your storyline <clears throat> is sort of revolving partially around <clears throat> Kenya and Portia. Okay, mm -hmm. so at now, at this point in the season, it appears that um, you and Kenya have reconciled, and this mm -hmm. has caused uh, tension between you and Portia. Now, did you know that becoming friends with Kenya again <clears throat> would kind of cause tension b between you and Portia? Did you know that beforehand? Jasmine, absolutely not. I mean, when I tell you this season, it's been so, I didn't. When no? I do you remember last listen, do you remember last season when Kenya and Portia were on play dates? I hated Kenya. I was to and Portia you're like, you better be uh careful for her. I don't trust Kenya. She gonna cross you, she gonna this. I didn't stop being Portia friend. As long as Kenya didn't come back and had something to tell my personal business, what I told Portia, I didn't care. Now, I see if they did something to my nephews or you dated my man or something. That's to where, okay, we both can't be friends. But I didn't care. They could be friends. They both just had a new chapter in their life with babies. They bonded on that. Do you? I just wasn't doing Kenya. So now I'm doing Kenya, and you have a problem with it? And it was all over your face. I didn't even know Portia would be that mad. When I walked down the stairs, I literally had to watch the show back. And see her her facial expression told it all. It told it all. And I'm saying to myself as a friend, Jasmine, if me and you rocking together, we out of town and you go in South Carolina and Kenya is saying, Oh, Jasmine did this, Marlo, Jasmine did this. As my friend, you're not gonna come to me, Jasmine, and say, Girl, look, you gotta hold me down, such and such, or Kenya this. Because if Kenya is straight out lying on you, I'm not gonna be fucking with Kenya. Because I don't want no liars reunited with my friend. Okay. So it's just, it was too much. Like, really, I think it's an invisible argument. I feel like, Portia, what the hell are you mad about? Girl, I know a lot about you that I have not told I'm not going to tell. I'm going to let right. you do that. Because, I mean, you're here for social justice, I guess. But she's not here for Black women reuniting. Okay. Well, I want to I want to talk about um, Sunday's episode, and um, you asked Portia about Bolo. But first, let me ask you: What do you think happened between Bolo and Portia, or do you think anything happened? I'm just going to tell you this: <laughs> If you're sitting, if Kenya was in there saying that I slept with a stripper and I made out with girls and I had girls eat me out and stuff, and she's lying, I would curse Kenya ass out. Okay. It was just the Portia I know is not going to let you sit and lie on her blatantly. But I did want to know at one at some point I'm like, well, damn, you ain't called me since South Carolina. Your guard dog coming at me, y'all moving funny with me now. When I have done nothing to cross you except say it wasn't me. I have two teenage nephews, Michael. I can call him from downstairs. He's like, auntie. My friends in school said that you slept with a stripper. And I say, look, now you know better. And right. I'm going to tell them it wasn't me. Sh uh, Shamil said it wasn't her because she's married. Drew said it wasn't her. Kenya said it wasn't her. So shit, I can't say it wasn't me. So my right. nephews can be in middle school who's on Instagram trying to guess who it was. No, I want them to know that wasn't me. I don't move that way. I don't care what you do. It's just how you do it. And okay. at the end of the day, I don't know. 
I don't know what she did. I wasn't in that room. And if you remember also, I even said, well, maybe they was watching porn. Maybe it was sounds of porn. I'm, I don't know. I wasn't there. I can tell you what I've heard and what people told me and what I knew the next morning that I still didn't say. But I can tell you my so-called dog was moving funny with me after South Carolina. But I ain't, Kenya can't tell you nothing personal about you. I haven't crossed you. You're mad because... She's saying that you did something and because her and I made up. So you just don't know where to go now. You scared. Like, who is Marlo going to cross me? Is Mar what have I done? Because I asked you, did you sleep with Bolo? Well, let me ask you this. Does it matter to you if she did? Like, if I she's your, I mean, let's just say, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What'd you say? If she's my friend and she slept with Bolo on national TV, it would bother me to where I would tell her, hey, look, you're you're on have a new light over you now you're doing social justice you have little girls looking up to you don't be on national tv sleeping with strippers and letting little girls that look up to you think that's okay if she did if she would have told me yes she told me she didn't so she didn't it is what it is but yes it would have bothered me as my friend because as my friend jasmine i want you just to move a little different especially with the new light on you the new role that you have in your life the new chapter in your life you need to be a little more classy. I don't need you. I'm from, the, I'm hood, and she says I'm ghetto, this and that. But baby, you'll never hear about me damn sleeping with no damn strip on national TV. I promise you that. Okay. Um, what's your relationship like with Portia now? Because I saw you guys after the episode. I saw, no, I don't, I didn't see her. I saw you kind of making, like, tweeting a few things. I think you were basically saying, like, it's a double standard because you mentioned, you know, when she became friends again with Kenya. You didn't, you know, that kind of thing. After the episode, you were kind of tweeting about tweeting about her. What's your relationship now like with her? Um, I mean, saying what you last saw, just the, it, like she said, I'm moving funny. She's moving funny. It's not how it was before. It was not talking on the phone, texting, girl. Like my girlfriend would be like, bitch, I'm so stupid. I didn't fuck this stripper. Shit, I'm fucked up. I need you to hold me down. Don't get over there with Kenya and snitch on me, dog. That's what my friend would have done. But she, uh, Portia just has different rules, I guess, with friends. If she did do it, if she if she did do it, I feel some kind of way because I feel that I'm not really your friend. Because I know Shamila and Drew know for sure if you did it. And I know who else know, but the reunion will let you know everything. Everything's going to come full circle. But uh, just don't be my friend. If you can't trust me with anything like that, if you can't keep it 100 with me, just don't be my friend. I'm good. I'm I'm so good without you being my friend. I'm good. Um, do you think that you guys can move past this? Um, uh, do I think oh absolutely. I mean, I feel I can. Should we move past uh what were we at and when did we have that big argument? Greece was that Greece? Should her and Kenya then move past her dragging Kenya off a couch? So and going to jail. So I know we can move past you mad because I made up with Kenya. I, I'm if we can't, that it's a little more to that. And guess what Milo had to say for the people who were laughing in the comments like, really girl, you of all people telling Portia to be classy? I feel that everything in my life, from the negative to the embarrassing to the bad, it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen. My story isn't your story or a Susie story. And I look at people who have mom and dads and they went to college and they speak well and they're so educated and they're so fucked up, a lot of them. And I said, I mean, a majority of them are, a lot of them are. Their hearts are not as wholesome as mine. I feel right. that my mother was a substance abuse. I went through five different foster homes. I, I went to jail. And I feel that as I've experienced the world, I've realized, dang, thank you God for having me go through all those bumps. Thank you for not letting me get them sealed and hide them. I could pay money to get my record expunged. No, I want Jasmine to see it. I want such and such to see it because that's who I am. But when right. you know better, you do better. And I mean, something over 20 years ago, if you're going to still hold me accountable and judge me for over 20 years ago, being raised in the projects by a mother of uh, substance abuse, drugs coming from the hood, that's on you. Who are you? You're God. And then I go on TV for 10 years and let you see my real life. I'm telling you my real story. I don't fake with y'all. I'm not going to get in like, oh, my God, Jasmine. And yes, I'm this and I'm rich. No, which I'm human. I cry just like you. I'm trying to, I'm not filthy rich. I'm raising my two nephews along. 
I'm just living my best life. And it is what it is. This is my story. This is the story that God planned for me and I'm living it. Okay. Wow. Okay. I mean, y'all heard what she said. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm going to get out of here and move on quickly because I need to post my reunion looks review. The part two to this video will be posted after that because that's hot topic and it's important. So I'll be back in a few hours with that. The recent review video that I posted, previous videos, all of that, I have said the same thing about Milo and Portia relationship or friendship or lack thereof, okay? Yes, I heard Candy say on her speak on it that they're no longer friends. Milo just confirmed it, but yeah, Anything else I say, I would just be sounding repetitive. You've heard my take on it. Portia has been a hypocrite. Same or different day. She stabbed Kenya in the back when she went and befriended that girl over there. I mean, do I have to repeat myself? Same old. <laughs> so that's why I'm not saying much about this because Molly isn't doing anything that Portia hasn't done and worse. You know, it's just interesting when you get a taste of your own medicine it's not so sweet is it Portia realizes that the Portia and Kenya Moore back and forth is old is dry people are sick of it we see the tweets and comments every Sunday so this is perfect for her because Milo is literally telling her I don't have no beef with you you can be my friend and I can be Kenya friend Kenya been doing it for years I ain't see Kenya saying I'm not going to talk to Cindy Billy anymore because she's hanging out with Milo and Portia and everybody else. That Cindy goes for candy. Kenya is over there chilling. Portia is looking for her next storyline already and sends her issues with Kenya Moore. It's a reach and people are sick of it. Let me flip my attention to Milo and that would be my next storyline so either way Milo is coming back <laughs> friend or not peach or not Milo is still going to be collecting her checks but that's what she had to say about Portia she also talked about Kenya and other things but so I'll be back with a part two where she talked about her current friendship with Kenya Moore and who she felt like was the best dressed this season and at the reunion and so much more. So I am wishing Portia and Milo the best. I'm wishing all of you the best and take care. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.